ever needed to turn on your Proxmox server remotely, but it's completely off? No more dragging yourself to the physical machine. In this video, we'll unlock the magic of Wake On LAN. Wake On LAN, or WOL, WOL, is a secret knock for your computer. It lets you send a special network signal that wakes it up from a powered off state, super useful for remote management, especially with Proxmox. Now in this video, we'll talk you through the entire process step by step from enabling wall in your BIOS settings to configuring Proxmox itself. You'll be a wall wizard in no time. So stick around and let's get your Proxmox server responding to your remote commands. Don't forget to like, subscribe and hit that notification bell for more Proxmox tips and tricks. So a prerequisite to this is that in your BIOS, we need to go into what's called the advanced mode. Uh, depending on your version of your BIOS, if it's old, if it's new, it might have a GUI like this, or it might just be one of those you have to tap, tap through. Um, what you want to do, though, is you need to find across the options, mine's located in, in advanced, is the AMP configuration or power configuration. Uh, it might be under something different in your motherboard, so you'll have to go through and look for that. Um, but we need the APM configuration. What we want to do here is enable power on by PCIe and make sure that's enabled. Yours might say uh, power on by wall or power on by magic packet. You need something like that in that area to get this working. So once you've found that, enable it uh, and then you literally can exit uh, and then save changes and reset. Now in my case, I've not made any changes because I've already uh, got that enabled. Once we've got that out of the way, what we want to do is actually go to our Proxmox and go to the shell. So you'll be on the mini mainframe or whatever yours is called. This will be your computer that you want to enable this on uh, in your data center. So we're going to click shell. We're then going to want to put this command in and all commands will be in the description below. But we want to install apt install eth tool hyphen y. Now you'll see on mine it says zero upgraded, zero installed, zero removed. Um, that's simply because I already have this tool installed. Then we want to um, discover what capabilities our network card has because this is another prerequisite. To do that, we want to type in the command IP ADDR for IP address. And this shows us the current links on our system. Now if you look in here, it traditionally is the ENP6SO option. If yours is different, obviously go for that, um, but generally it is that network card, that's the primary network card on the Linux system that we need to enable this for. So keep that noted in memory, ENP6SO, and that's zero, not O. We're going to want to run the command um, ETH tool, followed by your network uh, card name, which in our case is ENP6SO. This will give us all the information about that card, but all we really want to know is down the bottom here, which is wake on. Now, if it's got G on, we've, that's great. It means that wake on LAN is enabled and we're ready to go. If it has any other letter in there, it means that it's either not compatible or it's just not turned on. And you'll know if it's compatible or not because on the supports wake on area, we're looking for the letter G. So if you can see on that line, supports wake on, and you can see the letter G in that line, you're good to go. Because that means in the BIOS, we've turned the right setting on, and the network card supports wake on LAN. If you've got G in wake on, fine, we'll skip to the next step. If you don't have wake on G there, all you've got to do is pop this command in, which is eth tool hyphen S, your network card name, which in my case is ENP6SO, wall wake on LAN space G and hit enter. We can then run the command above again, eth tool ENP 6SO, and now you should be seeing wake on LAN G. If that's the case, great, you've now enabled wake on LAN. But in Proxmox, slightly different, and some Debian systems as well, it doesn't always stay this way after a system restart. So we need to make sure that it stays like this every time the system restarts so that whenever you shut down or restart the system, it can get back online through a wake on LAN magic packet, as they're called. So to do that, 
we're going to do what's now recommended instead of the old method. The old method was literally um, edit the network interfaces file on Debian, but um, that's no longer recommended. So we're going to create a system uh, DMD service. So we're going to run this command, which is nano etsy systemd system wall.service. So we're creating a wake on LAN service. When you hit that, yours should be blank. Mine has text in it because we're going to copy and paste this in. And I'll leave all this in the description for, below for you. But yours probably will be blank. All you've got to do is, if I do it for you, so if I delete all this in here, all you've got to do is paste in this command here and then go to the middle line and all we're doing is changing the interface name here. Now, if we remember our um, network card name, it was ENP6SO. ENP6SO. Right? Simple as that. At this point, we can do Control O on the keyboard and then Enter. That writes and saves the file. And then we can do Control X on the keyboard to exit that file. Then we've only got two more commands to run. Very simply, we're going to run systemctl enable wall.service, so that enables the file we just created, and then systemctl start the wall.service. And now our, now our system's literally ready to go. So what I'm going to do at this point is I'm going to click on the mini mainframe up here. This is my name for my computer. I'm then going to shut the server down. Yes, I want to shut it down. And this is now going to power off this system. Now I can hear my system powering down. So there are a few ways that you can send the magic packet to the system uh, from various different devices like your phone or your firewall or different servers, things like that. One of the ways that I do that is through my firewaller. That's my firewall slash router combo, my firewaller gold SE. If I scroll down to the mini mainframe, it actually still sees this as actually online even though the system has actually gone offline now. But as you can see here, I've got a wake up option. Now, if I refresh this page, just to show that the server is offline. Okay, so the server is offline. If I send the wake up package from my firewaller, I can hear my computer system spinning back up. If we give it a minute, and you can see that the system has actually turned back on. Just from using that uh, wake option here. Now you can also send uh, the wake on LAN command from a Linux system, for example. If you installed uh, wake on LAN uh, on Debian Ubuntu, that's sudo apt install wake on LAN. Fedora, CentOS, and RHEL, uh, that's sudo yum install wake on LAN. And then you can just put the command wake on LAN and the MAC address of the system you want to boot, uh, and you can do it that way as well. And of course, you can use any other wake on LAN method that you prefer. Um, I just wanted to give a quick demo of how to enable the feature uh, and how to do that from the firewaller. But obviously, there's, there's many different ways you can do that. Once again, thanks for watching my video. Hope you've enjoyed it and I'll catch you in the next one.